Landscapes designed to conserve water begin with a well thought out plan. Implementing the plan may be done gradually over several years until completed. Although there are many different aspects of landscape design that can help save water, here are some of those most frequently used by professional designers. The style of a landscape can have a significant impact on potential water use. Typically, a formal style requires more frequent irrigation than an informal style. Informal landscape designs are characterized by flowing lines, native and well-adapted plants, and natural building and construction materials. The use of low water demanding native habitat areas can also be an excellent means of designing for water conservation. These areas are often incorporated into natural landscape designs and provide shelter and food for birds and other wildlife. Native habitat areas can help conserve, preserve, and protect our valuable natural resources. Grouping plants in the landscape with like water requirements is often referred to as hydrozoning. This design technique can significantly improve irrigation efficiency by targeting specific plant needs. The use of native and well-adapted plant materials is another extremely important design technique for conserving water in the landscape. Choose plants wisely based on information about their soil, water, and fertilizer needs. When planning a landscape, it's important to remember that turf grass typically requires more water than other plant materials. Plan turf grass areas wisely to help limit the use of irrigation water. Remember, landscape design is the first step in creating a healthy and sustainable environment. Be sure to visit our website for additional tips on how to conserve and protect our valuable natural resources.